Hello everybody and welcome back to the Epic Frodo YouTube channel. My name is Will and today I'm joined by Sam. Greetings. <laughs> Sam's had a mouthful of A&W root beer right then. Worst time for me to introduce him. Um, and today we're doing a commentary for Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. We're continuing the Indiana Jones trilogy. So if you'd like to watch along with your copy at home, put your timestamp to zero and press play when I say go. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. So Temple of Doom. Tell me about your experience with Temple of Doom, Sam. My experience with the Temple of Doom. <laughs> I've never been there, if that's what you're, <laughs> what you're wondering. Never been to Pancock Palace? <laughs> it's lovely Pancock this time Palace, no. This is probably my least favourite of the three original trilogy. Hmm. Why is that? I don't know. I, um, it seems a bit out of place compared to the other two. I think probably because there's no Nazis in this one. Yeah. It is a very... Because it was a sequel. They wanted to do a different route. They wanted to not um, like just repeat the same story. They just get in a completely different direction. So like yeah. set it in India, set it before, make it really dark. Just that's the thing you'll notice. It's so much darker than the mm. other films. So they weren't planning on doing a f third one after this, I take it? No, they were. It was a trilogy originally planned. Oh. George Lucas did his... I got frisked to Steven Spielberg. It's like, if you make one, you've got to make another two. I've got this whole story planned out, and it turned out he didn't have any idea yeah. what to do for the next two when he did the first one. So they thought we'd stick this one in. <laughs> yeah. Well, this <laughs> one's going to make it really filler. different. So apparently this bit, she... um learnt this whole like dance routine but the dress was too tight so she couldn't do it I'd say it does look quite it's a very like, random opening isn't it yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's like a musical points, number isn't it yeah. a full like musical scene it's a pretty big big club isn't yeah. it yeah that's the thing that I used to think I used to think well, where are they now <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the club all, it's, all, it's all the same lady isn't it <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's just like she walks into the dragon and there's this massive room yeah. and I used to think nobody that's can not, if yeah. that's in the dragon who's watching yeah exactly yeah <laughs> what is going on in this bit I think it's just like a surreal like dance number to sort of prepare you for the just, <laughs> well, for the viewing experience that just the, the, temple of doom. the the darkness that's the temple of doom but this is the one that I they watched all... the most yeah when I was younger and I don't know why yeah why would you <laughs> because <laughs> I think I said this last time I watched this again about four years ago and I only watched like the first 20 minutes and I was just like yeah. oh, I just don't really I'm not that like, interested in watching it now yeah whereas Last I Crusade think... and the Raiders I can watch a lot now still yeah but I really okay. like this film I still like it I think it's great it's got a, it's a big uh, film of my childhood I think it was definitely yeah. one of the three that I watched the most there's Lao Shi. Laoshi. Antidote. He needs a bit of a bigger role in this film, I think. Well, it's like <laughs> He's only a, really in it for the first 10 minutes. It's like with most Indiana Jones films, they always have the cold opening, don't they? Yeah. Well, if anyone needs to be in it longer, this guy needs to be in it longer. Because he's like, his whole backstory with Indy that you never hear about. Yeah. Well, he yeah. dies, Will. He dies. Yeah, he's like, we've been on many adventures, and it's like, really? Was he not in I the Young know. Indiana Jones series? Probably. He's probably in the novel novelization, which I've read for this film. I read when I was on holiday in um, Gran Canaria when I was. Gosh, you read novels? Seven. I read the novelization of this book, of this film. <laughs> I remember, I distinctly remember a part where when they're on the elephants, short round, and Indiana Jones are singing Countdown Races, mm. which isn't in the film. See, there's like this whole backstory between these whole characters like he's saying oh he cut his fingers off and yeah but yeah I can't figure out why I just watched this one so much mm. and uh, the only thing I could think of is maybe it's the most relatable one to me in the sense mm. that there's children in this one and I was a child watching it mm. so if you could relate to short rounds you could relate to the, the Indian children and also because of the fact it's set in India as well and yeah, our family has Indian mm. backgrounds, so that the the elder, the village elder, sort of reminded me of great 
granddad. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, wow. I wonder if he shot down zeros like great yeah. grand, granddad did. <laughs> so great granddad would have been 11 when this, when this movie was shot. In 1935, I mean, not in yeah. 1980, whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. Diamond Laoshi. So I never understood what was going Like, with so many films I watched as a child, you watch them again, yeah. you don't understand what's actually going on. So I used to think, what are they doing? I, I still think the same anyway. Gold <laughs> for diamonds. Yeah. And then he drinks a dodgy martini, which... Mm. And in the first one, he's that. See, why is he just drinking that? Hmm. So that dress is made from original 20s and 30s beads. And, um, As in 1920s. Yeah. And... So 50-year-old beads, but another scene with the elephant. The elephant ate yeah. it. And then this was like one of the last scenes filmed in the entire production. Mm. So they had to... It, it said that on my little trivia thing on the side. Did it? Oh. Yeah. So I don't even know who Mr. Narachi was. Narachi. And he's like some emperor, isn't he? Mm. He's inside the urn, isn't he? Mm. I would like to see the story about all of this. Like, how did he get that? How did he know yeah. these guys? <laughs> <laughs> But they're very like bond bondy with their openings, aren't they? Yeah. That was just like nothing to do with the story. <laughs> I always thought they looked quite tasty. It looks like Powerade. Yeah. Blue Powerade. <laughs> Slush puppy. Mm. I was gonna say that poison's working quick. Mm. The diamond looks fake as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there he is, the hero. I like the, the noise. It just goes ping, and the glasses <laughs> shots. <laughs> but Harrison Ford is good in this one. It's just that little noise, ping. Yeah. Well, who shot him? I, that's the, the guy I with the, the... It looks like he's, his hand's a gun. They're him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Indeed. <laughs> it is good, though, how it's just so casual and they're yeah, not trying to... It's like, Blip's just been shot. Mm. <laughs> so did you watch this one a lot when you were younger? Um... I, I, yeah, maybe. I can't... I think this is probably the one I saw the most as a child. Mm. This or Raiders. Mm. Yeah, because Last Crusade is very... Um, even though it's, they are kids' films, it's more adulty in that sense that there's more talking. Yeah. It's a bit more of a complicated story. It's more about... Makes... Yeah, the guy just gets kebabs. <laughs> with a... um. It gets skewered with a kebab. It's quite brutal, that bit, considering... Yeah. Um, like in the first film, you see Indy as the guy who's reluctant to fight people, and yeah. But in, if in the um, actual, if on TV when this is shown on TV, they don't actually show the bit where he gets skewered with a kebab. Don't they? No. And then he just punt decks that it's woman with the <laughs> it's a woman for no reason. Because then it's just, I, you can see him doing it, but it was, I just find that a bit jarring how he just kebabs a guy with a. Yeah. Sword. There's the first oh, Wilhelm oh, scream. scream. Yeah. yeah. Ah. But um, Kate Capshaw, who plays Willie Scott, she um had like she was like had a master's degree. Was in the middle of doing a PhD, and was she, she said she hated the fact she had to play this character who just screams all the time. And because she was a doctor, or she was to be a doctor. Yeah, and she was just like all about you know. And you don't blame her. Her character, all her character yeah, does yeah, is yeah. just scream all the time and well, compare it to Marion Ravenwood, yeah, 
Well, they wanted Marion. Steven Spielberg wanted Marion back. Mm. But um, the, him and George Lucas agreed that it should be a different person. <laughs> I mean, oh, come on. Mm. <laughs> There's some bits in the Indiana the Jones where it's just like... Well, that's the thing. They said... Um, Spielberg said, because it was such a dark movie, they tried to like throw in bits of humor yeah humor and then that but then that ultimately made it a bit jarring if that makes sense yeah because you got like those really intense scenes coupled with like i don't know children's monkey brains yeah <laughs> this guy <laughs> so that guy there is um yeah. the, uh the guy in the first film the oh what the come on guy who gets yeah. chopped up by the yeah. rotor blades and I think he's also I mean, the the big guy in the yeah. who gets squashed by the um, oh, roller yeah, yeah. as well <laughs> that guy's <laughs> actually I was just laughing just <laughs> I mean the accuracy of the people on hmm. this is all <laughs> there's Club Obi-Wan I mean, he was not aiming at all he was just hip firing I think he's just a bit nuts that guy I think I like this movie a lot just because of short round. Yeah. So he didn't even audition for the film, this guy. Kid, his, they just like, yeah, take him. His brother was auditioning and he was like directing his brother on what to do and they were just watching him instead of his brother. Yeah. And they were like, oh, let's get him. Get him for the movie. <laughs> Meanwhile, his brother missed out. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think he cares that much. Pretty set for life. Yeah. Have you ever seen the Goonies? I've seen. I have seen it a long time ago. Yeah, he's in that as well. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised he's not dead from the poison though. By this point. Yeah, because they said it works fast, and then he's just yeah. like he said he could like feel it on him on. Yeah, I mean, well, his adrenaline was high and his blood pressure was high and his heart rate was going. Yeah. And did all oh, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> There's some bits I forgot and I just instantly remembered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just how they come up. Who, I wonder who came up with the idea of a short round. Yeah. And just the fact that he has a kid who drives his car and he has to put blocks of wood underneath his feet. <laughs> There's another oh, Wilhelm screen. That's two. <laughs> <laughs> There's a mission on the middle of on a rising somewhere. There's a guy in a rickshaw. <laughs> Is there? Yeah. That's what that reminds me of. So, like, some of the light, you can see why she's not happy with some of the yeah. lines she has to do. Bit stereotyping is. <laughs> so I never realised this, but you know Dan Aykroyd. Mm -mm. Do, uh, Dan Aykroyd is in like Ghostbusters, and mm. yeah, it, that's him. I never realised that. He's American. And I was like, ah, oh, Doctor James. <laughs> yeah. Well, that explains a really stereotypical English accent, you know. Yeah. Oh, you a gin. This was great. He's just like gets away from Lao Shi and shuts the door. <laughs> it says Lao Shi. Lao Shi freight. <laughs> Lao Shi has some stellar mutton chops. Mm. I'd like to see those guys again. He's unfinished business with Lao Shi. Yeah. After he, so does Lao Shi after he kebabbed his mate. <laughs> That'd be awful as well. He could survive that. Yeah, I think it probably went straight into his heart. It went into his, like, his gut, didn't it? Mm. Maybe got food poisoning from the meats. <laughs> um, I think the actor who played Lao Shi died not... I mean, he's, he's dead, but mm. I, I think he died not long after this film, if I remember. Oh. So the characters, um, Indy. Indy's named after George Lucas's dog. Um, 
Willie's named after what? Steven Spielberg's dog, I think. Indiana and Willie. And um, Short Round was the writer's dog. <laughs> so they're all named after their dogs. The dogs. Mm. That's why I like always like to wear a hat on the plane. I'm when trying to figure what would what would Willie be short for for a girl? Wilhelmina. Yeah, I guess that's the only thing, really, isn't it? Hmm. So John King. I can see why people don't see it like this one as much as the other Indiana Jones because yeah. there's only one of these. He only travels here, and that's it. So you, I don't think you're going to get another map scene. Even when I was a kid, I found this a bit funny. Yeah. He's got the parachute. That just looks like sand. Yeah. Probably is. <laughs> is this the one that's on the TV the most? What, Temple of Doom? Mm. I don't know. Um, well, usually it's like at Christmas. It always, yeah. There's always Indiana Jones, the trilogies on all the... Quadrology or whatever they call it now. <laughs> How would you not wake up straight away? <laughs> yeah, you'd have noticed. Well, I would certainly would notice someone stepping over me because I'm a poor sleeper. You've like shut the door. Do you reckon you could land that? Uh. Probably, <laughs> probably not because there's no, there's probably nowhere to land it. Mm. There's nowhere flat. Or... Yeah, that's the thing. If you did land it, well, you'd still be in the Himalayas, wouldn't you? Yeah. But Harrison Ford got into ridiculous shape for this. Well, I say ridiculous shape. Into much better shape for this film mm. than the first one. Yeah. He is pretty. He's such a great actor, Harrison Ford. Yeah. Just the way he, he just looks angry and like, um, scared and, but he still manages yeah, to play off. Like, oh, what do I do? Mm. <laughs> you call him Doctor Jones, doll. Yeah, she screams again. Yeah. Well, I did like this scene. I never watched because I've never watched this one in HD. I'm wondering how it's going to look because yeah. I think there's they got like um. Well, I don't know what the equivalent of green screen back then would have been, blue screen or whatever. Yeah. Wonder what it looks like. So how does this look? It doesn't look That's too probably bad. real. Yeah, they probably just chuck that out of the with mannequins attached to it. Yeah. Yeah, that's real. I think it's this bit when they're going down how it looks. <laughs> oh, they're good. This day, the that looks bit dodgy. Yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. a James Bond film, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's like one of those um, rides you go on on Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it does look a bit ropey now. I mean, but... the bit, that bit, like, mm. that looks really green screeny. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a car from a comedy. Yeah. Is that real? No. No. This is all real. This is in the behind the scenes. I showed you how they... So that bit there, I don't think they're actually moving. Like, the close-ups of them. I think they're just in the water yeah. and there's people... Just shaking the raft from left and right and throwing buckets of water over them. But this scene was meant to be in the first film. Oh, was it? It was just like a, like an idea for a set piece, but it was just getting too busy that they just mm. kept it for the next one. Willy Scott. And the mine, the mine, I was in the Minecraft scene. <laughs> The minecart scene is also meant to be in the yeah. first one. Mm. Shorty. There he is. There's. That's great, Grinder. Great, Grinder. 
<laughs> I do like this character though. I don't know what I what is what would his title be this chap. Elder. She's still clutching onto her dress and he cares about yeah. the materialistic. Yeah, she's a materialist, whereas this guy's just like, yeah, welcome to my village. I think that guy was born in like 19... Like something crazy, like 1913 or... <laughs> oh, wow. He doesn't speak English either. I'll, I'll, um, when he's talking, I'll tell you how they, what they did. He does have a wicked hairstyle, though. So here's a, here's a fact you will like, Sam. Um, so the village, um, so it's filmed in a place called Kandy in Sri Lanka. So it's meant to be India, but um, they're getting sick with the Indian government, like reading the scripts and saying, oh, you can't call him the Maharaja and stuff like that. The Maharaja, yeah, yeah. And they're like trying to change the script. So in the end, oh, they're yeah. like, oh, we'll just go to Sri Lanka. They have the exact same stuff, except for the palace, which we can just do as a map painting. Mm. But... Um, yeah, this place was filmed in a place called Candy in Sri Lanka, where they also another film was filmed there, which you like. Which film was that? Uh, I'll see if I can give you a clue. So it's a war film set in Asia. Before it was made before the eighties. Or oh, bridge on the river Kwai. Yeah. So this was filmed Ooh. near near here. Makes sense. Mm. This 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 scene always sort of disturbs yeah. me because you've gone from that crazy, you know, the last thing funny thing you saw was them riding mm. down the rapids, and then you just cut to this, and it's suddenly just yeah. quite jarring. I mean, the whole children being mm. stolen, yeah, to work in. I guess it's a very real thing. Mm. I always wondered what they were eating. Mm. Looks like it's rice and something. Mm. And it does show the um, the materialistic, luxurious character that she Willie is. Willie Scott is, yeah. yeah. Well, she's used to moving in high circles. Mm. In that she just won't eat this food, and even though they're, you know, ugh. Fly on it. <laughs> His face. <laughs> Just a little the thing that short runs wearing his hat yeah. shows how much he trusts him. This little kid. So that guy when when he's talking. Steven, mm. He didn't speak English, so Steven Spielberg had to say, he was like, you'll go to Pancock Palace, and then he would say it. If that makes sense. You wouldn't have thought he didn't speak English. Mm. So Spielberg said, like, um, and then he'd be like, uh, then like a monsoon. And then and then still Spielberg went like that it moves like darkness and then the guy mm. did it as well so he's sort of using Spielberg as a reference sign language but he's literally just copying him exactly yeah that's why there's so many pauses in between his sentence his lines mm. Shiva Linga, that's it. Shiva Linga. He is good though, like because that the pauses in his delivery give it that tension. Who this guy? Yeah, it gives it that seriousness. Mm. So the reason why this film was so dark, um, George Lucas said, it's because he was going through a divorce. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> to uh, I presume it was Marcia, the editor for A New Hope. Mm. So was that why he was 
he created this film. <laughs> so, yeah, just, we'll make it dark. Yeah, because he just was in the just a grumpy mood all the time, I guess. Mm. Shiva Linga. I'm sure I'm just copying him. <laughs> So what do you think? Do you think it was divine intervention by Shiva, or do you think it was... Well, if you, if you listen to the village elder, it was. Or do you think it was just a coincidence? Well, I guess it's, uh, it's probably the whole thing of the Indiana Jones story, isn't it? Is mm. this just a humble archaeologist who's chosen by the divine to save save people and save artifacts and save holy holy relics or just coincidence hmm. well the um because in you know, those is a prequel it kind of messes up the continuity a bit because in the raiders he's always like oh it's like be careful of the ark dr jones it holds mystical powers and he's like oh it's just yeah. an artifact whereas in this like in the book like a year earlier he literally has these stones in his hands and he's possessed yeah. and he's you see he's like I... actual mystical powers hmm. But you can still be a skeptic, even though even if you have religious experiences, mm. you know. I mean, it's a bit like seeing ghosts to an extent. Mm. I'm quite skeptical about ghosts, and even if I was to see one, I'd still be quite skeptical mm. about it. You know, it's and it's a bit like if you have a religious experience, you'd be like, "Oh mm. wow, I've just had this great experience," but then at the same time, it might just be your brain. Mm. You know. As much as I'm open to religious experiences and believe they are possible and do happen. Hmm. He's got yeah. a scar on his uh... On his chin. Yeah. Yeah, that's real. That's um Harrison oh, it's an Ford. Action. Yeah, he actually has that scar on his chin. And then they put it in the story, don't they? Mm. In the third one where he whips himself in the face. Yeah. It's this kid just creep me out. Mm. I see what you mean by it. it's just so jarring. Like mm. you have the funny scene, and then you just cut straight to this, and it's just suddenly whoa. But when I think of um, Indiana Jones in general, the music obviously mm. you have the main theme. But I always the first song that always comes to my head is the one from this, which is like the when they're, they're fighting in the mines and all the children are escaping. Mm. I'll point it out to you when it plays. I can't remember, I really remember like how it goes off the top of my head, but it's always, I always know how it goes yeah. in my head. I think it's like... That's the main theme, but then... There's, there was another one, I think it's called like the... Escape of the Children or something, I'll see if I can find mm. it. Crusade of the not Crusade of the Children, March of the Slave Children. <laughs> yeah. Something crazy. Sankara. Does, in, in reading your Indiana Jones lore, is there, does it say whether Indy is religious or not? Well, his dad is, isn't he? His dad's very religious. Yeah. And the third yeah, one. Henry Jones Sr. Slave Children's Crusade. That's it. Yeah, because his dad's very religious, so he that's mm. must be he learnt all of this first, learnt the mm. religion first. But his dad's a Christian, isn't he? He's not. Yeah. Doesn't support Shiva. No. But I guess you figure it. You guess. You know. You learn it. Mm. So, what do you think the Sankara stones are? Fortune and glory. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Thank you, Indy. <laughs> yeah, but see, he's just seeing it as like I'm not doing this to help. Yeah. The kids, I'm getting these stones back so I can make my name. Yeah. He's still doing it quite selfishly. Because I think when he gets to the thing, he wants to leave, but then he sees the children and that makes him stay. Mm. Oh, come on, Willy. I do wish it was Marion. Not that I have anything against her. Yeah, it's all just a bit stereotypical, isn't it? Hmm. Do you know who she went on to marry? Who, the actress? Or yeah. Billy? No. Yes, you'd be surprised. 
Who is? Who was it? Someone to do with this film. Was it some? Probably the most important person to do with this film. What that guy? Not Harrison. <laughs> Uh, is someone related to that guy? Um, the uh, is it the Indian guy? Is that the general? Oh no no no! She went on to marry Steven Spielberg. Oh, did she? Yeah. Oh wow. And um, but like ten years later, like this is when they first yeah. met on this film. And then like I don't know, it must have been like around like a day in the nineties they got married. Oh wow. But if you see like the behind the scenes footage of them together, you can tell that they like each other. There's a spark. Yeah. It's like two teenagers like in high school. Yeah. Not that I'd know anything about that. <laughs> it's not very nice, the elephant. Eh? Giving him a little bit of a perfume. Yeah. Give him some cologne. So it's meant to be a scene here that they had, they cut just completely from it where Willie was meant to fall off the elephant and land in like a pool of snakes, but she just couldn't. Mm. She just would not do it. No, I and don't then, blame um, her. But then Spielberg was like, "Okay, you, I'll cut this scene for you, but you have to do the bugs." And then she's like, "What <laughs> <laughs> bugs?" Yeah. That's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> it's probably like burning your skin. Yes, I think she, the pitch she falls in there is meant to be snakes in there. Oh. Yeah. But she just wouldn't do it. I don't blame her. Be fine though, be perfectly safe. Oh, wet. <laughs> so I can actually hear what she says now, because when... Yeah. I got the subtitles on when I was... Watched, used to watch it on the DVD. I never used to understand what she said because it always sounded like, Yeah, although that bit used to make me laugh. Does he have a different outfit in Indiana Jones in this one? Just Jeff is black, isn't it? In this one, yeah. isn't it brown in the first one, or is it the same one? Yeah. So that scene between them two was the f- they like improvised that in the audition mm. just to see if they um, chemistry them mm. two. <laughs> oh, that bit used to scare oh, me. Yeah. <laughs> but I like how just casual he is about it. <laughs> the bash just like, oh. like yeah. the bash just like leave me alone. Yeah. It's like Red Dead Redemption, this bit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> monkey's just like, what? what's going on here? <laughs> I forgot about that little monkey. He's just like... <laughs> it's a monkey from the first one. It's just an owl. <laughs> How long she's on pay? I should off that monkey. I completely forgot about the monkey. <laughs> His face is just like. <laughs> is that what? <laughs> yeah, you're right. What would that be? A tiger? Sheer calm. Yeah. Yeah. Sheer calm. Oh, there we go. Professional name. Yeah. <laughs> Fortune and glory. I thought she'd all before that. She's all for fortune and glory. You ever ridden an elephant? <laughs> I wonder if that elephant's like really. <laughs> hmm. I'd hurt though. I feel like getting whacked in the back of a club. (laughs) (laughs) 
the elephant was actually Still. doing that. But it all pays off. I think the elephant is. God, it does pay off with this bit. With the yeah. snake. But it's funny how she wanted to do this, the pit, just fall in the water with the snakes, but then she did this. She did this bit. Yeah. And she actually threw that snake as well. <laughs> Surely it'd be like, oh, I should rip this trunk off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'd be like, why? So it's like this part of the film, when I remember watching it, I was like, oh, it kind of drags a bit. Yeah. But like, there's a lot of exposition explaining the stones and... Mm. Which I guess is needed. Mm. Like once there's a, like, there's a good, like, what, 20 minutes before we even get to... Bangkok Palace. Not even Bangkok Palace, more Ram in the <laughs> in the temple. Oh, yeah. You don't see him for ages, and he's the main villain. As in the first one, you see the French guy within like the first ten minutes. Yeah. Very good elephants, though. They just hold their legs out. There's a scene like this in the first one, wasn't there? Hmm. Shiva the god of death or Shiva like a the ultimate Shiva yeah, he is the great god mm. he is the Mahadava and they worship Mahadava. they worship him through sacrifice and that's a trinity it's a Hindu trinity with Brahma and Vishnu but they just worship him this way rather than well they worship Kali oh Kali the, the, the people in the the temple which is why he's like, prepare to meet Carly oh, in yeah. hell. And he's Carly. The... Carly is the. Well, it's a Hindu goddess. Oh. Yeah. Of what? Uh, time, creation, destruction. Oh, okay. It's like how they just get rid of all the elephants and they're just like. Stealing our ride. We walk from here. So that's all like a painting, I think, in the background. Yeah. So, what do you think about the religious themes in this one? I guess they're Hindu, they're Hindu themes, aren't they? So it's quite interesting. It's quite interesting. Um, I was just thinking then. It's funny how the the guy, you know, his guide sort of ran away, but he was just like, "Oh, we'll carry on." So it's quite interesting to know the psychological aspects of hmm. evil and good. Yeah. So this guy's in. Um, have you seen Gandhi? Yeah. Yeah, he's in Gandhi. He plays um, apparently it's Nehru. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He was at Oxford. If you listen to him speak, yeah. he doesn't really have like an he has an, like an Indian accent, but he yeah. has a very good um, English accent. Hmm. I'd love to go to India. This is a good scene, but it's um it's it like with the themes, it, um mm. it's so dark and then suddenly you have this ridiculous eating scene with like snakes yeah. and snake surprise 
but just like on the religious themes, it's interesting because Carly is you know, the sort of destroyer of evil. So mm. that's you know when he says uh, prepare to meet Carly in hell, it's because I'm assuming that she destroys evil, so she'll destroy what's his name, Malaram. Oh yeah, yeah. So he's um, doesn't look into that, doesn't realize that that will kill him. Yeah. By worshiping her, will ultimately destroy him because he's evil. Mm. Yeah. So what do you think about the whole? I was listening to uh, someone else talk about Temple of Doom. They said this film makes it's quite pro-British Empire. If that makes sense. Hmm. Um. I got a bit, I haven't really thought. <laughs> I didn't really think about that. Cause Cause, well, it's kind, I guess because they come at the end, don't they? Yeah. So they portray like the this scene when they're eating all these crazy foods. It kind of shows them to be like like barbaric, almost if that makes yeah. sense. And like, the the British need to be there to control things. And mm. maybe, yeah, I never maybe. thought of it like that until the person uh, said it. And I thought, I guess you could argue that case that. But then at the same time, these are all the bad guys. Yeah. It's, and the ordinary Indian citizens give them hospitality and give them food. I hate this kid. I used to hate I hate him when I was young. Just because when he's like stabbing the, the voodoo doll, yeah. I was just like, oh, just, just stop it. <laughs> but he's possessed, isn't he? All yeah. Right, under the enchantment or whatever it is. So what is their ultimate goal? Control, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so maybe I was wrong. Maybe they're not worshipping Carly. Maybe they're worshipping something else. Mm. You just happen to say Carly. Yeah, just because mm. I was thinking the bit where he says, prepare, prepare to meet Carly in hell. Mm. And my knowledge of Hinduism is not not incredible. Oh, Clive, he gets a negative spin today, doesn't he? Does he? Yeah, he's one of the statues which... Um, wants taken down. Yeah, the statues they want taken down, isn't it? I was watching, I've been watching this um, documentary on the Civil War. Mm. Do you know Ken Burns? Ken Burns' documentary on the Civil War. As in the British Civil War? Or, or the American Civil War. Ooh, now, like, yeah. people like General Lee and Stonewall Jackson are so oh, revered yeah. in the South. Yeah, they're such. Mm. What they stood for isn't particularly the best thing, even if they may not have personally supported it themselves. But oh, no, I was right. They're they're thuggy and they worship Kali with human sacrifice. I was right. Okay, you're all. Yeah, I knew I was right, but I wasn't. So, oh, you were right. Sorry, they do worship Kali, but with human sacrifice. Mm. Whereas, the what do the villagers also worship Kali, but just through prayer and. Devotion. Like well, like, I think they they worship Shiva and okay. Vishnu and is it Brahma was the other one. I guess it's the equivalent of like being in like, ancient Greece. One people worship Zeus and all that, and it's just a cult that worship Hades. Mm. Yeah, and then the British guys like oh get away with the, yeah. the snake. <laughs> get the snake away with me. I want to <laughs> I want to roast dinner. Mm. <laughs> Some lamb chops. Yeah. So these beetles are plastic with custard inside them. So that's just custard. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I want to know what the monkey's brains was. Is it jelly? It was jelly and custard. <laughs> yeah. Raspberry jelly. It's a mighty belch. <laughs> it's me down the dinner table. <laughs> but at the same time, it does kind of play, because this is an American film, you would have thought a lot of American audiences would have think, oh yeah, this is what they eat. Yeah. In India, they bugs eat. and snakes. And... Yeah, it's a bit stereotypical, isn't it? <laughs> mm. He's wearing the um, World War One medals, the captain. Well, this is 36, isn't it? So he'll put yeah. it in 
what, 13 World War One. Oh. Oh. So those eyes were stuck to like toothpicks at the bottom and she had to like properly like stir it to get them to float up. Oh really? Oh. And it took a couple of takes, it wouldn't work. I do like his outfit. Who, the Prime Minister or? Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones. He's got a nice bow tie. <laughs> He's got a very English accent, the Maharaja. I think he sounds like a girl. So listening back and reading the subtitles, you probably understand what they're talking about now. Because I always thought Fuggy yeah. was just like a a, foogie, a thug. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's a thug. Yeah, it's fo foogy cults. Yeah, I think they're always like in like gangster films. It's like oh him and his fuggies, and they just mean like his cronies. But yeah, it's always a foogie, just like a. <laughs> Here we go. Here's the scene. <laughs> Chilled monkey brains. It's that monkey they in the thing yeah, earlier. Yeah, I think it was. Chilled monkey brains. <laughs> oh. It just looks like jelly. It is. Funny that. <laughs> oh no. That's what you better do. Oh. It's funny. It's a bit weird though how he's a kid, but he's very like adult. Yeah, there's not really much innocence with him, is no. there? And what is he? Has he got fruit or something? Yeah, it looks delicious though. He's eating a nice <laughs> <laughs> Granny <laughs> Smith. <laughs> On that note, I'll have a chocolate brownie. <laughs> Chilled monkey brownie. <laughs> Sounds having snake surprise. Is this, I wish I was like, just skip this part. Yeah, it's not really. It's good, it's not important for character development between the two. Yeah, but yeah. At the same time, you think she's only in it for one film. Yeah. You're not. Well, it's a Classic film of its time, isn't it? Got to have a fling. Mm. I guess we're so used in our society today. We're so used to sequels and characters being in twenty films that you've got to build it up over a long time yeah. to make it more believable. Whereas, well, in today's world, the only films I'm used to seeing now are remakes of old ones. So. Yeah, this is a prime example. They're making a new one again. Yeah. I mean, oh, it's just so cringy. I mean, mm. and they've only known each other what a day. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. time. Time goes really slow with the Indiana Jones universe. So I think it would have been cool if this was like a Marion, and she was like how Willie is now at the start, and as the film goes on, she gets more and more. Um adept and more capable when she becomes the Marin you know at the end yeah oh mm. you can't talk to Charles doll <laughs> So when I was young, she used to think, "I don't understand what they did, what's going on." Well, yeah. Yeah. Why is she saying five minutes? I guess you don't really understand mm. these things when no. you're a kid, do you? I always thought him, his room was so, like, horrible compared to. No. Um, yeah, like his room. So. 
what's it like the hover room's so nice and this room's so dark well I quite like a dark room I will be honest what your room looks like I don't know very plain it is I'm a, yeah. I'm a simple man yeah <laughs> you're not like Willie who loves the uh, no. materialistic I probably did at some point when mm. I was younger but not anymore it doesn't interest me anymore having all this material stuff yeah I'm kind of the same I guess when you're young you think oh I can't wait to have yeah. money so I can buy all these things yeah do this and then when I worked I had money to buy the things I wanted and then now I've realised that I don't need much no. so I'm in the process Ult of getting rid of all like just things that just clog up my room yeah and that's ultimate freedom is when you're away from the lure of money oh that's well, don't get me wrong freedom. I still like money but <laughs> well it's more of it gives me a, like, a peace of mind if yeah that makes sense that I won't have to worry about bills and mm. houses so now this is in HD, you can see the guy in the background. See? Oh, oh yeah. So this bit, I, I'll tell you, when he... Um, I never knew this, and it's, like, massive for the film. Yeah. It almost, like, crippled the set, if that makes sense. Stopped production. Oh, did it? Yeah. So this part here, where he throws him like that. Yeah. Uh, Harrison Ford herniated his back. Oh. And he was out from I don't know how long. So a lot of it now is um, a guy called Vic Armstrong. Is that the guy who played the um, one, the Nazi guy in the I last know. film? He's a um, so all the rest of this scene and the fight with the with the guy who played the Nazi in the other film is just all, that's just all a stunt man. Oh. Who just happens to look like Harrison Ford a bit? Ah, oh, so Vic Armstrong's the oh. <laughs> oh. so Vic Armstrong's the stunt man, yeah. Who um, replaced Harrison Ford in all of the scenes? So, if, like a lot of it's him shot from the back. So, in a lot of the action films now, if you see like the back of Indiana, and then they um, what's it? Just like went back and shot like facial um, <laughs> reactions yeah but that's crazy though isn't it I never knew that just how he he's well, like um, <laughs> so in the behind the scenes I watched Harrison Ford said riding the elephant was the f he mm. said it hurt because it was such an awkward position oh, he bet. said it got his yeah. back going a bit and he said he I... reckons that's what then led to him popping his I... I don't know how you herniate your back. What does that mean? Just like per burst the muscle or something. Yeah, sort of muscle comes out of place, I think. Hmm. But it's crazy to think, look at him, he's in such prime shape. He, he's still quite young at this point. Was he 40 yeah. probably here? In his 40s. And he... Um... Oh, yeah. I mean, in, in the, he could sniff out a needle in a haystack, couldn't he? <laughs> But he said doing all the working out helped him recover quickly. Mm, I bet. But I can't. I can't even begin to imagine how much that must have hurt. Just flipping that guy oh, over yeah. you, and then just as you're going down, just popping yeah, your back. Your back. Oh. I pulled my back before, but it was picking something up. I couldn't imagine doing the reverse and your back going, just being stuck in that position, just like that. Yeah. Must be painful. But when you watch, I'll, point, I'll try and point out some scenes where it's the stunt man, and you'll see that. They look a bit different. They, look, it, it, they do look alike because I never noticed it. You've never yeah. noticed it. I think how many times you've seen this film. Yeah, you don't, do you? So they try to do, um, yeah. So he literally because Indiana is in like literally every scene of this film, isn't he? Mm. You'd be a bit stuck if that happened. What would you do? <laughs> yeah, filming delayed. Well, I, I was watching a bit of Bridge Too Far the other day. Hmm. And there's a bit in that where they go over the rebuilt Somme Bridge, hmm. and it shows the tanks driving over, but they're actually just Land Rovers. Really, a cardboard cutting of a tank. Yeah, is that the part with um, Anthony Hopkins in his umbrella or something? 
No, that's a bit where Michael Caine goes oh. over after they've rebuilt the bridge. I need to watch that again. I haven't watched that for ages. <laughs> Sorry, Willie. <laughs> I step on something. It's horrible. It's much, imagine a bug. I think <laughs> I prefer snakes to bugs. I think I'd rather be covered in snakes than bugs. Depends what kind of bugs. I mean, I just hate bugs. All bugs. Oh, cockroaches. Oh, just the noise it makes, isn't it? <laughs> I'm okay with spiders, actually. Mm. Like, if I ever see a spider in my room, I'm never phased. I always think, oh, yeah. it's there to keep the flies out. That's it, yeah, it's a predator, isn't it? Mm. But this is just so typical Indiana, isn't it? Just traps and... Cause I, I, think... he's got, he's got, I didn't notice he has a knife. Mm. <laughs> he must keep it on him at all times. So how long are we into the film? So we're almost an hour into the film and we haven't met Mother Arm. Arm. And it's an hour into the film and we get like, after the cold opening, we're starting to get like into Indiana Jones. Oh, here we go. How old do you think oh. he is? What in this? What's his name? Key oh, well, yeah. yeah. The actor now. Hmm. How old do I think he is now? Yeah. Like 46. I oh, sorry, I went there. Sorry, this film. Oh, um, for about 10. 12? Yeah. yeah. 13. God, this is horrible. Yeah. Oh, well, those are like something covered, like a Disney ride. Yeah. The Pirates of the Caribbean, right? <laughs> I just remember this scene being so tense. Just watching it, be like, yeah. oh. What would you do in that situation? I think I'd absolutely be pooping myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate this bit, yeah. Oh. What even is that? It's, it's like ginger. A, it's a cricket or something. Yeah, so this a scene... Cricket, sorry. A, what's it called? Praying mantis or something. So this that scene where she has to have the bugs in her, she apparently um, took a load of... Um, like pills to sort of relax her. Oh, I bet, yeah. So she's on on some stuff in this during this scene. A fulcrum release level. It's a bit of a fancy way of saying it. Yeah. Harry lady. <laughs> my son groaning in disgust oh, yeah this he's just like the right one his hands like <laughs> it's just the way he's like you can do it he's just like do it oh oh he's got slime on his hands I remember the music dun, 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 dun. it's tense See, I remember more about like just the things like the soundtrack and all that from this film mm. than I do any of the other ones. <laughs> His face. Oh. And it's really good. It's so good at building the tension up, isn't it? Like... Do you remember what happens next? Yeah. When she runs into the room. Do you not remember? Yeah, I do remember, yeah. Yeah, I completely forgot about it. 
until I watched the behind the scenes, and then she just, it just like look, <laughs> just happens again, <laughs> <laughs> and the music starts up again. <laughs> <laughs> I think the door would have shut by now. Yeah. Oh, no, not the hat. Does he do that in the first one? I can't remember. Yeah, he does when they're in the um, in the jungle. Yeah, it's at the beginning, but I can't remember which mm. bit. There's that bit in the Simpsons game, do you remember? You're in, like... Um, I think you're like oh, underground and there's like a door. That's going back a bit. I know. I remember Keep... it because there's a bit, there's like an Easter egg where there's like a door that's been shut down mm. and you see like a skeleton hand trying to reach for a hat. Mm. Here we go. So we're an hour in. So yeah. I think this is why I, I watched, when I watched it again a few years ago, I thought, oh, because it was like 20 minutes in and there's another 40 yeah. minutes before it gets back to the. Well, that's what I thought when we watched Raiders. You know the bit where they meet her in the bar in the pool or wherever mm. it is? I always thought that was the first bit. Was... I thought that was the start of the movie. Mm. But yeah, it was like half an hour in or whatever it was. Yeah, you had the temple raid and then the university scene. Yeah. So yeah, they are worshipping Carly. Mm. If you look around on that statue, it's quite graphic. Mm. There's um, arms. He's severed arms around the waist of the statue. You, I didn't notice that. Yeah, you never notice it until you get a little bit of a close up, and it's like it's literally just severed arms. See the hands just like dangling from it. Oh yeah. Sort of reminds me. Of, it looks, it reminds me of Skyrim a bit. Mm. It reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean too, with the um, cannibals. I've never seen it. Oh. oh. So all these people are possessed as well, aren't they? Yeah. They've all been enchanted by the. Uh... Fuji priest. So this guy Amrish Puri, he mm. became like a. So before this, he always had hair. And yeah. He shaved it off for this role, and then he started getting um cast in. Oh, what's like a Indian, baddie? Yeah, as a baddie in Indian horror films. <laughs> it's launched his career. So he, he never shaved his head again. He always shaved his head, and he always played the baddie in the villains. He was like the most popular villain in India. That's the Om Nam Shabai guy. Om Nam Shabai. That's it's... like an actual prayer of mm. Hindu. More like the Hail Marys or something. Probably, yeah. This scene used to... I loved this scene. This is probably one of the best <laughs> scenes in cinema for me. The Kali Mar as well. Yeah, Kali Mar. The Kali Mar. Yeah, I was right. It was Carly. I don't know why I thought mm. it, I was wrong. So the this chant he's chanting is um, Om Namah Shivara, which is a Shiva mantra. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking. See, I so never he's, understood he's this pr- bit. He's oh. praying to God, effectively. And... I don't remember that bit in the... No, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. When that's... you actually see him put his hand in there and pull out his heart. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember that. Yeah. They always used to just like make it look like it was an illusion. That yeah. he was making it seem like he was pulling his heart out. He's still alive. Yeah, Om Nam Shiva. Yeah. And it's just like, it honestly, I used to be gripped watching this scene just when he starts chanting faster and faster and faster. That's because you'd be very scared if this was mm-hmm. happening to you. It is good though, just the story. I think it's great. Like just, mm. like you don't see much in India, do you? No. Because with these films, you can think, is that actually oh, his heart still beating? God, I never noticed. Yeah. Does this catch on fire? Yeah, it does, doesn't mm. it, when he goes in the... Lava. 
Oh. I don't remember it being that graphic. Yeah. It was I just, just that scene. That yeah. scene, yeah. They must have cut it. Oh, because the, I think the British... Bit, is it? I don't know what this is, the BFI or something, the British Film, film Institute. Board, yeah. You have a different well, one in America. You have a different, yeah, they cut certain scenes. Like, I think it was like in the 80s, they always, whenever there was like a ninja film with nunchucks, they always cut bits of nunchucks. Yeah. Because anyone could get hold of nunchucks in the UK. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't even notice that scene where the body just bursts into flames. Yeah. Although this, when this film came out, not many people liked it because they said it was like it's too graphic for a kids' film. It's too scary. Yeah. So Steven Spielberg created, asked the someone the as the baked potato, asked at the film in America to create the PG thirteen rating. Mm. So like the twelve A in the UK, because it isn't this. You could say this film isn't a PG. It's certainly not an eighteen. No, it's so it's of, definitely it's a twelve. It's a fifteen or a twelve A. Yeah, not quite a fifteen. I don't think it's definitely a. I mean that bit. I mean, mm. oh, that's pretty gr- graphic. Mm. <laughs> it's not. As, you could say it's. It's. A, I always thought that guy in the middle was going to stack it in the back. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> you could say um, it's not as scary as as graphic as the ending of Raiders. Mm. I was just reading up on it. Apparently, the person who wrote Raiders of the Lost Ark didn't want to write the script because he said that it was so horrible he didn't want to be associated with it. For what, Temple of Doom? Yeah. He thought it was so bad? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, the script was written by two... I think it was like husband and wife. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. But they like collected Indian artifacts and lived in India, so he George said Lucas they'd... said, come and, do, come and write the script for this one because you know about Indian culture. Mm. he said this movie is very ugly and mean spirited because it was a chaotic part of Lucas and Spielberg's life yeah I think they were both going through divorces actually yeah but it's interesting how you know people go through a chaotic point in their life what they produce becomes chaotic and dark Mm. and yeah and I wonder what's going on through their lives when they did Mm. um, Last Crusade yeah. Did they discover their Rediscover. fathers again? Yeah. yeah. Rediscovered God or whatever. Well, I guess you could say maybe George Lucas met his new wife. Spielberg met. Well, they weren't together at this point, but met they found Kate their Capshaw. Holy Grails. Yeah. Yeah. There's a real jump scare in this bit. As yeah. Well, when the guy there. pops up, isn't yeah. it? And it's like, <laughs> noise, like, whoa. That used to petrify me. Mm. It's like anything. I don't ever remember being scared by them. No, it's not because it's not horror. I say it's not a horror movie. It's not. No, but it's in like the jump scares. I don't ever remember yeah. being a kid of thinking, "Oh, I remember getting jump scared by this bit in the film." I always remember just. Yeah. Nom nom shiva. See there's like human arms. Yeah. You don't really notice any of that no. stuff, do you? Because well, we watched it on video. Yeah, on, on the VCR. <laughs> yeah. And then on DVD, which isn't HD quality really. Those were the days. Hmm. I did always think these look like potatoes though. Mm. See, it's like he only Are needs they? to take one. He only needs to take one back to the village. But he, but he thinks I'll take all three of yeah. them. Yeah. Fortune and Glory. So I guess you could say this film's the one where he learns not to be greedy. Because he's not greedy yeah. in the like in the Holy Grail one. No, he doesn't want to take the Grail, does he? He wants to take the Grail, but his dad's like, leave it. And he does leave it. Mm. So look, he's taking the stones. So he's about to leave. Now he can hear the... Because he never... At no, no point at the beginning is he like, oh yeah, I'm going to go to get the children back. Oh, that's human skin, isn't it? I literally Is just—I I never realised that. Yeah. See the arms and the legs. Yeah, this, this movie's dark. Mm. I, didn't really... I wonder if that's why I liked it so much. When I was... 
Because I remember when I was young. <laughs> yeah, that that. Uh... <laughs> I mean, where oh, did hope... he come from? Hmm. I do like our short round fight always fights back though. Yeah, he's putting some Muay Thai in. Mm. Getting the Shaolin kicks. It's like I do in welding a minecart. Yeah. But I always thought in this bit, they're not very good workers. Why do you get kids? Like, they're not very strong. Yeah. Like this bit when they're... When it's probably because they're, they're easier to control in a situation mm. like this you would be like um that's the guy yeah because if you had grown men you'd expect them all to revolt really wouldn't you mm. yeah but they got a whole army of possessed people so it's really they just possess all the villagers hmm so all they're doing is just like tapping rocks it's like you're not doing much you're just tapping the rocks yeah I like so, how he's like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, they're just tapping it. It's like you're not going to get very far with the rocks if you're just tapping them. I think we've kind of ascertained that logic doesn't really <laughs> yeah. dominate these films. <laughs> but in that um, part with the Om Nom Shivai man yeah it makes you think is it just like a hole in the earth like to, to get yeah, to like some magma or is it really crust or is it really what hell hell because that's the thing with these films you that's, never know yeah like with the grail is like is that mm. is that a crusader in there or is it just an old man who's just who's <laughs> just there well it's supposed to be a crusader isn't yeah. it yeah He's but about four hundred years old, or whatever it is. But then before that, it says, "Take the leap of faith," mm. and it's just a painting. It's just a bridge that's been painted to look like it's not there. Mm. It's just one of those things where you think, "How much of it is real? What's spiritual, and what's just like a trick?" I don't know but I can't remember what it was. So it moves quite quick now, the film. Yeah. It's like, I never realised it's like, what, 10 minutes between meeting Molaram and then indeed becoming possessed by the blood. It always feels like it's much later. Hmm. So they're looking for the next two stones. Oh, yeah. So he wants all five stones to get revenge on the British. Yeah. Tuggies. Tuggies. Who do you think is the best villain in all three? Who's the best villain? Yeah. Oh, I think he's the best... Villain. Yeah, he's the best villain, easily. Because the, other, the others aren't really... They're, I guess because he's the only real... Well, the... The Nazis it, are evil, it, but... Yeah, but... I guess you could say the sort of Indian... Um, you mm. know, the guy who went to Oxford in this. He's, he's, the, he's not the main mastermind, is he? He's possessed as well, isn't he? The Prime Minister. Yeah. That's oh. I, and the Maharaja, I guess, probably. But They're, He's possessed. Because he, 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 when he gets out of it, he helps short round, doesn't he? He says... Yeah. Imagine this guy doing this now, getting some guy from Birmingham to <laughs> dress up as a Hindu warrior. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it must be disgusting. <laughs> He's a good actor, though. This bit doesn't make me laugh, though. They even made him a little yeah. hat. Yeah. It's like, so you know it's Indiana. Yeah, it's not just some random man. I 
Surely that would have bent him in half as well because he just bent his legs. <laughs> This is probably the most, um, as in like the mysticism, doesn't become that believable. I find because voodoo, yeah. voodoo dolls. I can imagine. I don't know why, but I can. I can believe a, a ma an eight hundred year old man, hiding in a hiding in a cave, cave more than I can, possession and voodoo. Yeah, voodoo dolls. I don't know why. Hmm. I think it's because in the end, it's not directly affected by that. Yeah, he's a part of it. Oh. Oh. See, I don't think that bit with short round getting whipped is in the. Yeah, film. I thought that as well. I mm. don't remember this bit. Blimey, I don't remember that bit. I don't remember any of this either. Do you hear him? Yeah. They're talking about taking a religious overthrow of the mm. world. I... Yeah. Don't remember any of that bit. Being, I remember that, that have, bit. That must have. I don't remember him going on about the religious run. Kali, yeah, Kalimar taking over the world. They must have done that because that's essentially his plan. Yeah, perhaps right, like you said, because it was really jumbled on the VCR mm. recording. You didn't really notice. And you're a kid, and you're just focused on the indie bit. Yeah, possessed. You don't know what they're saying. Yeah, you don't know what's going on. Because hmm. I, I, I try to think, what is going on? What is actually happening to him? Yeah. But I don't. Is he actually possessed or is he playing along? He's actually possessed because he um starts. Doesn't he start hitting some short round or something? I can't remember. He does something. Yeah, but then he's like, "Oh, I'm playing along, isn't he?" Oh, it's because um, it's weird because in the it, I heard that in the the photographic novel or something of this not like the book, the short mm. round realizes that fire. If you get hit by fire, it sort of wakes you up from this curse and I think he burns yeah. it doesn't he and you don't see that in the film but short round burns Indiana yeah oh yeah, yeah yeah and that sort of wakes him up and then from that point on he's back to normal and then he's, he just carries on playing bet they're all thinking who's this kid yeah he looks a bit out of place mm. doesn't he Some guy hasn't got a uniform on Another sacrifice. So yeah, the Prime Minister's also possessed. Yeah. Oh, he's back. She's not doing Ondom Shiva, is she? Nah. I do like the guy who plays the Prime Minister. Mm. What's his name? Roshan Seth. What did you think of Gandhi? I've not really seen Gandhi. It is a long film. Yeah. I like it. Seen, I've only seen the bit at the end where he gets shot. shot. That's at the beginning as well. It's like, oh, the, it's like okay. the first scene of the film. There we go. I haven't seen it. Mm. I really liked it. I thought it was a really good film. Because he's in Gandhi. In, yeah, he's in Gandhi as well, Monorum. Mm. He plays, I think, when Gandhi's in South Africa as a lawyer in the British Empire. Mm. He's like his mentor in South Africa or something like that. Oh, so he's yeah. only in the beginning. I don't know if this was before or after Gandhi. I think it must have been after because he has hair <laughs> more or <laughs> in the in Gandhi. Because yeah. like in this bit, surely um, he'd rip Willie's heart out. Perhaps it's Shiva doing his stuff. Hmm. You know, Shiva's involved.
I always wonder what that little red rope around his body is. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do you like the music? It's just so. Although it's not iconic for the series, it is to me. Mm. Like, I just remember all of it. Just the chant in something. Mm. Some Hindu chant. So it's very um like Saturn. chains and yeah yeah you can see why he became the number one number one uh evil villain in all of Kuzak <laughs> <Number one. Yeah. laughs> in all of India yeah just head butter. Don't leave me. Yeah, so he's not. I don't think he's playing along at this point. He is full on possessed. Yeah. I mean, how did he not notice that yeah. guy? <laughs> it's just like, yeah. And the lighting is amazing. Whoever mm. lit the scene. Because I saw, I Googled the guy who lit, lit the scene. He's, I think he's a filmographer, the cinematographer. And I think he was born in like yeah. 1913 as well. He's so long. Must still be long gone. He's yeah. long gone now. I think he was 104 when he died. Oh wow! Because he was uh, the documentary I watched is from like the early 2000s. Because George yeah. Lucas looks like um, when he how he looked when he was making the prequels. Hmm. And and then this guy was doing it, and he looked very old. And even when he was doing this, he would have been like in his 70s or 80s. I'm going to look at Harrison Ford now. He's, what, 70-something? Yeah. The video was released in 1986 with a retail price of $30. Really? <laughs> Gosh. How much would that be today? £60? That's, that's quite, yeah, that's quite a lot for a video, isn't it? Hmm. They didn't take his knife. Shiv. Yeah. <laughs> Shiv. Yeah, it's made from a toothbrush. It's like Skyrim. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get the Shiv. Escape from Sid the Mine or whatever. <laughs> I think in um, the, the fourth uh, Crystal Skull, they have a joke about Willie saying um, she went on to marry some film director. Oh really? Yeah, that's one of the jokes in the bit. But I never knew she married Spielberg. Uh. Mm-hmm. 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 Something I think something catches on fire, isn't it? Like a flower was around her yeah. neck. Oh, you'd be absolutely mm. pooping yourself at that point. <laughs> oh my. I can't remember what happens to the Prime Minister. I always I want to think, say, he like breaks his back on the wheel. See, like, doesn't he like backhand him? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Instantly cries. Instant tears from the backhand. I love how no one's like bad an island. Mm. It's just like, yeah, it's the kids here. Yeah, look, see, um, the fire. See, he burns that guy. <laughs> and then he'll yeah. be out of it. So now he's out of it now. You're my best friend, but we're never going to see each other again. See that he's fine now. You would have thought they'd um, bring yeah. Short Round back in like the new one. Mm. Boy, yes. Yeah, so what do you think it is? I think it's just a fire pit. Mm. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that guy came out thinking he'd be like yeah. a hero. 
He's probably the guy in the middle who walks backwards and is going to fall in anyway. Yeah. This bit's weird, look. <laughs> <laughs> what I don't know, everyone's just cheering them on. Like. Mm. But I always wonder, who are they cheering? Is it Indy or are they cheering Malaral? Because it looks like they're cheering Indy because they were cheering when he gets throws their friends into the fire. Yeah. Who's the Prime Minister? Yeah. I can't remember what happens to him. I'll look at him with that knife. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's knife work that needs doing. <laughs> Scumbag tried to lie for me. Yeah, because I want to say he just like breaks oh. his back on this thing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, felt that. that. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. That's straight on his uh... chest. <laughs> yeah. This diaphragm. Mm. They would have had to move him now if they were able to pull it up. So, that's not the airbags, that's it's my lungs. The floor there. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Nehru. That, that metal would have burned, burned anyway. anyway. Yeah, that would be really hot, wouldn't it? Yeah. I say he's just out, the <laughs> Prime mm. Minister. So it's it's been twenty six minutes since we've met Molaram. Oh really? And we're oh, already right. at like the That does go quick, yeah. doesn't it? That's why I kind of feel like they should have like maybe done it as like Indiana Jones hit noise. Yeah. <laughs> maybe made it like edited it a bit. They could have probably edited it out that. I mean, uh, you actually see scene. how red she, how red her face is. Hmm. Oh, you can tell he's got a dodgy back there. Yeah, the way well, the way that's just Harrison Ford. The way he runs, isn't it? He just runs like that in general. To be fair, he could have had the dodgy back there because they did um did film some scenes afterwards, and he just as the days went on, he was just in too much pain to carry on. Perhaps he just has a dodgy back in general. He definitely does now, probably. Because I think um yeah they he was like it's just in too much pain. He's gonna have to be sent to the US for an operation. For his back. This song. Do you remember this song? Yeah. This is the one I always think of whenever I think of Indiana Jones. I look at that reveal. <laughs> It sounds like the um. Have you ever watched the Mandalorian? The new Disney series. No. Oh, it sounds the new theme song kind of sounds a bit like this. So yeah, there's some um. Indiana Jones stunt double work in this bit. This scene. Mm. This bit of probably because he's got like his back to him and. Key. I'm pretty sure that's his name, isn't it, in real life? Yeah, Key is the short round's real name. Oh, is it? Yeah. Key. So he's like, yes, yes, I'm getting to you. Yeah, yeah calm down, fellas. Yeah. Oh, look at this, just like... <laughs> What's that film where they're just, like, whipping? I can't remember what it is. It's just, like, a really random scene out of my head, then. Whipping? They're just, like, whipping this guy, like, ah, ah, <laughs> I can't remember the life of what film it's from, but... <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that it's in there. And then that's, that's another example of it being like really yeah. dark, and then it's just like if they throw in a bit of humour. <laughs> it just throws a hammer and hits someone on the head. <laughs> it's just standing there as well, mm. like, yeah, right. Nope. Oh, my eyes. Where do they all go now? Because they 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 all wait for Indy to come out because they only arrive at the village when he's there. Yeah. Well, I guess it's a long journey, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it might be this bit I was thinking of where he just keeps whipping the guy he doesn't do anything. 
It's weird to think that's the Nazi bodybuilder fighting guy, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Oh, this bit used to annoy me. It's just like, just leave him alone. It's the Maharaja. You think you're so tough, don't you, with your little doll? Oh, it would hurt, though. Captain Bl Captain Bloomberg, you know, the English mm. guy at the start, he, uh, he died in Ealing. Did he? Oh. Yeah. Not far from here. Yeah, so all this bit is the stuntman. None of this is um, Harrison Ford. That's not Harrison Ford. But that That's is. Harrison Ford. When it has the. Um, when the shot cuts and it's like a close up of his face. That's obviously done like a month later. Yeah. You can see the. Um, like the, the camera work, the way it's darkened mm. out. It's like the shadows are in his face. Well, there's always something in front of his face, but he does look like him because I think they decided to use this guy because in the yeah. in Raiders he was the, he was his stunt man and Steven Spielberg had called him Harrison from like a distance. Whiskey, oh, yeah. whiskey, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's Vic Armstrong. Although again, oh, oh break his ankle. Although then again, this scene is ridiculously graphic as well. Although. Mm. Well, I wonder what they sh yeah what they show in this version. Yeah, just like his head being like just squashed. Yeah. Oh. Would you just pick him up and throw him closer to it, and then get off yourself? Yeah. Whiskey. Oh. Yeah, whiskey. That's it. Oh. I think you'd be able to cope now. Yeah. Because it's just like a knife I, in your I, back, not being moved around. Well, I have you ever had a knife in your back? I can't imagine it. <laughs> no, I think Harrison Ford did with the hernia. I, I, I mean, he would have been in there by now with those camera yeah. angles. <laughs> this is a bit I remember. Yeah. For a short round fighting him in the background. Hmm. Like, I mean, kids fighting each other. Yeah. Oh, oh. I look like that hurt, actually. That would hurt. Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of banging on heads in this, isn't there? Yeah. I like how he tries to save him as well. Does he? Yeah. That... Oh, no, he doesn't. No. Actually, he just leaves him. I guess he's just like, yeah, that's what you deserve for whipping all the kids. That's the thing, he's quite... Oh, There's not enough blood... Well, I say this. Yeah. Although there's a lot of blood for a kid's film. I guess you do turn away, don't you? Yeah. Now imagine that. You, you could not make a kid's film like this today. Now, what's the modern day equivalent of a kid's film like this? I don't know, like Am I High or something? Am I High? What? <laughs> I mean, like a high budget kids film that um, incorporates stuff like this. You couldn't do it, could you? I no. I, you. I don't, I'm trying to think what the last kids film I saw was. The only thing that's like an action adventure high budget kids film is Star Wars, but that was around when this was around as well, and they're two completely different. <laughs> it's just like smiling. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the stunt around there. Actually, now they've got guns. Where do yeah. they come from? They've got car 98Ks. So this bit, where he whacks the thing, the in one of the shots, the wood broke, and it hit her in the eye. Oh, did it? And she's got like a big bruise like, underneath her eye. I don't think in the film, but just because of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> out all three of them it's a short run hella shouting master on set of the, yeah. for the day on this scene oh there he is I was about to call him Sekul Khan then but that's from um, El Dorado you've seen El Dorado the cartoon a long time ago yeah, yeah. Sekul Khan's the 
Alex. <laughs> so that's, that's the campest knife mm. thing ever. It's like, uh... <laughs> Like if let, let a round loose. I think this film won the best Oscar for um I can't remember what it was. It was like visual effects or something like that. Mm. And you can tell why because of this this scene, this tunnel scene. So mm. this is a real roller coaster that they like well like a I say roller coaster, like carts they built. And it's like combined. There's a ride for this in um Yeah. In one of the, California. The, the, yeah. But I'm sure when we went to Disney, we done something like this. Not when when we went the second time. There's the Indiana Jones show. That's the only thing I know. So this is a miniature. That's not real. That's a miniature. Yeah. You can kind of tell a bit where the people, if you look at them, they look a bit. A bit funny. Especially in HD. Just but the when you look at them, but when you just don't look at them, it looks really real. So I think that's a model. Yeah. And all of it combined together makes it look like just this amazing scene. But yeah, it's like a proper like tracks and everything. Yeah. And to make it look like it's really long, they just lit it differently. It's just the same what... piece of track over and over again. Yeah. I don't know what ga- gun they've got. <laughs> You'll see close up at the end, don't you? With the so... British, maybe. Oh, the British have the Enfields, oh. but the guns these guys are using looks like Winchester repeaters. It'd be British guns, wouldn't it? Do you think this is what Grandpa's school was like? What? This is how you get to school? Yeah. On the Himalayan. On the, on the train. Himalayan tracks. mine carts. Yeah. What rifle was that? Did you see it just then? I don't know. It looks like a car 98K or something. It's got like gold wrapped around the... <laughs> wrapped around it. I love how he just like smiles at yeah. random places. <laughs> it's, like, oh. it's to tell the audience he has an idea. Uh... <laughs> What's the bit when it flies off the car and it just goes miles? Or am I making that up? It's this bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This bit here. What was it, though? It's okay. <laughs> so this bit was meant to be in the first film as well. The minecart chase. Yeah. It's in pretty good shape, Mother Arm, isn't he? Yeah. I don't remember him looking like that in Gandhi. Was this before or after? I think it was after. So look, they they go to the right, which is like all red, which looks like hell, and these guys go to the left, which is yeah. like daytime. <laughs> See, it does look like a theme park ride, doesn't it? Yeah. I can't believe the way he just quickly picked that up. Yeah, I know. They didn't <laughs> shoot or anything. <laughs> so I remember when I was younger, I used to... I remember I said, oh, yes, I saw this before. Yeah. I used to watch this before Star Wars. I used to build like a Lego bridge and recreate the um, scene from the end. <laughs> I made a bridge out of Lego. I used to have like, my toys yeah. on the Lego bridge. I always love how dedicated, like, the baddie yeah. goons are. <laughs> sort of like, yeah. I'll die for my worker. Well, they, they're possessed in this, aren't they? Yeah, that's true, yeah. But even, like, on the first one with the Nazi soldiers mm. when they're... Um... Opening the chest and... Yeah. Well, I guess they didn't and, think anything bad they, was going to happen. They, when they jump on the... Um... Oh, God. Oh, this bit, yeah. Cart goes flying. Oh yeah, when they jump on the car and they fly off the cliff. Yeah. And, yeah. It's like, why would you do that? <laughs> I guess they think there's gold involved, isn't there? Oh, look at all that water. Hmm. Ah, 
Brake's broken. So there's only like 20 minutes left and you've it's been 40 minutes like I said it already. Mm. So you've only known like the main villain well, for, wrong, yeah. for 40 minutes. But you know, I guess that's the sign of a good villain. You only see yeah. him for you only see him for a short amount of time. Got that rip the salt off of his feet. Won't yeah. It? And his foot's just like on fire. At least that bit's accurate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's to pay off that gag, isn't it? Yeah. That looks a bit dodgy then. Do you see the, yeah. the compositions of them? It went a bit like it was black in some parts. Oh, that for this bit. Oh, this is yeah. horrid. Oh, that's a bit. The composition there. Do you see it? Hmm. I think it must be a model or something. So that's a model filmed in like the UK. But I don't know if the big ones are model as well. Like it's a, probably filmed in the Ealing, Stu Ealing Studios. No, I think it's filmed in um Ealing Studios is where they film like the Carry On films. Oh, <laughs> they, this is Elstree, I think Elstree Studios. I don't know where that is. But the um the temple scene was like a sort of set like one of the massive hangers or something I don't know. Mm. It says a bit. I think it says get to the bridge, but how would he know the bridge is there? Yeah, yeah. So he went that way. Mm. So this bridge was built by um. Oh, I forgot about that bit. My heart just went. <laughs> oh, yeah. The um. Uh, there's there's like a, some British company, engineering company, building a dam in the village mm. that they were filming in. So they asked them just to build this bridge for them. Oh wow! Not like and then they made the set piece up because yeah. of that. It was already um, planned. They're gonna have to bring some people in to do it, but there just happened to be an engineering company next door, which saved them a lot of money. Hmm. I've always wondered where Indy got his fighting skills from. Like, what's the backstory mm. to? Growing up, because he's a bit of in, in the Boy Scouts or whatever he is. Yeah. I guess he, he picks it up just from like. This is a proper Han Solo moment, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> um, pretty pick, like grave robbing, just come into contact with all the grave robbers. Mm. And. Yeah, so this bridge, Steven Spielberg was too scared to cross it, whereas Harrison Ford, as you can see, would just leg it across the bridge at full pelt. So that's an actual bridge, like over yeah. a really yeah. long. Yeah, it's all real. Oh boy! Oh. And um, so Spielberg would only do his shots. So you only ever see shots from the first half of the bridge, or the yeah. last half of the first third of the bridge, or the last third of the bridge. You would never do his shots in the middle because oh, him and the, him and the cinematographer would be too scared to the cameraman would be too scared to cross the bridge. Such a good scene, though, isn't it? Just mm. the bridge. <laughs> Just see what, like, yeah. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> it's terrifying, isn't it? Yeah. I think he's definitely the scariest out of all of them. Oh, yeah. You might be able to take them. It's one at a time. Yeah. I didn't realise he swore there. Uh. I'm going for a ride, lady. I don't know why he goes on the bridge as well. If he's can see he's going to cut it. If it was me, I'd be like, I'd tell my men just to go on either side and just cut the yeah. bridge. 
I think when I break his leg as well. So Indy can speak English, Chinese, Chinese can read Sanskrit. Speak. Uh, he's speaking Hindi, I think, to um to someone I can't remember who. I think it was the the villager. Yeah. Imagine what Willie's thinking. She's like, oh, I was just a, a singer in a show two <laughs> That's days what ago. She was saying, she? She's like, yeah. I lived in, I had the lovely house in Shanghai. Hmm. Had a garden. In hell. <laughs> what are you doing? So I, I was thought he was speaking um, <laughs> yeah. his so own language like, at that point. Yeah. I didn't realise he was just going, what are you doing? Yeah. So those dolls, that's real. That's that's the real bridge. Yeah. And those those are mannequins with electric motors in their arms and legs to make it look like they're going like that. Oh, wow. So that's, that was all a re- they had one chance, one chance to take that shot. Yeah. So the bridge is filmed in uh, Sri Lanka. Those... F- alligators are from florida the scene <laughs> this the scene where they're dangling like this is filmed in the uk so it's a tri-continental shot <laughs> and i like how he's just like throwing his own men down to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to get the stones Oh. Oh. I think who would we think we would win in the fight between Mother Ram yeah. and Indy? So I didn't realise that was his hand on him. Yeah. I always thought he was like wrinkles on the back of his arm. So he does actually pull his heart out, he just uses the power of Carly. Carly yeah. It would have been cool if he put his own hand in his chest and pulled out his own heart. <laughs> <laughs> We definitely felt something there. Yeah. How old do you reckon that bridge is? I know it's like brand new, but in this film, you get this guy. He's like, wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just throws him off. Um, and he's laughing. <laughs> I think that just shows how evil he is, though, mm. doesn't it? See, what happened to their guns? They got bow and arrows. Yeah. Uh, oh. Looks like one hit him in the back then. They will miss. Yeah. Where are the British to come save the day? What, what? Yeah. I say, Japs. Punjab rifles or whatever mm. they are. Oh, oh well done. Good job, Willie. Yeah. <laughs> That's an ADR to that line. Yeah. Shiva K. That's a cool scene. Like that yeah. must be practical, just setting the bag on fire. Not the potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> so he still manages to keep one. Oh. He doesn't look like he's going to hit the water though. He looks like he's going to hit yeah. the rock. Oh. <laughs> Wilhelm scream then of a guy just Bad. already been eaten, getting rolled on by alligators. Oh. See, it's so gory, graphic already. <laughs> so much they missed. Yeah, here we go. Here they are. Here we go. Indy. Yeah. Come on, chaps. Good hunting. See, it's just like the British just come and save the day. Yeah. It's rapid firing. Hmm. I guess they're not really, but well, it is British, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Well, Anglo Indian. Hmm. Hold your fire. And then they do the scene again in the third one. With the tank. Oh, yeah. Shiva K. Did you betray Shiva? <laughs> I guess he technically did. Hmm. With his Fuji worship. 
I've already forgotten the name of the stones. What are they called again? And Sankara. Sankara stones, yeah. Shankara stones. See, now the village looks so nice. Even though nothing's happened to them yet. If that makes sense. Yeah. The children aren't back yet. <laughs> I mean, how long were they gone for? A week? And already the village is just like... <laughs> Yeah. Going from destitute to, unless it takes like a month to get there, I think it takes a couple of days. Yeah. Doesn't it? So it's a night. Hmm. Gee, I care. <laughs> Hooray! So they would have been waiting there a long time for yeah. them to get over that bridge, go through the minecart, have a fight. But I always thought all the women looked really old to be their mums. Yeah. Good scene though. Yeah, happy ending. Happy ending, yeah. This is the only one that really ends, and it's like that you feel like that's the story done, if that makes sense. Yeah. Because Raiders ends with um, him and Marion walking off, and you think, oh, there's more to their story with the Ark. Mm. There's some government the conspiracy. I know the way. The third, the third one ends. I think the third one is the best ending because you feel like that's yeah. that's it. That's done now. Their story. Until they need, needed some money, so they made yeah. another one. <laughs> Until Harrison Ford was like, show, show me the money. How much to return as Indy? Lesson learned. Mm. So, and then a year later, he'd be like, oh, the Ark is just a box. <laughs> yeah. It has no power. You have no power here. <laughs> Gandalf. He's just maintaining his healthy scepticism. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know why they couldn't just set this one in like 1937. Mm. And then have Raiders in um, Last Crusade in 38. What years... Um... Last Missouri. Crusade setting. Oh, she's from Missouri. Yeah. Yep. That's where I went. <laughs> yeah. I think first Last Crusade set in 37 or 38. Oh, that would hurt, wouldn't it? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I guess this is the sort of the show, this is what he did to get over Marion. He went, yeah, he yeah. went to China yeah, and probably. India, yeah. Oh. Ha ha, very funny. She's a Missouri girl. Yeah, she's from she's from the Show Me State. That's it, a lovely, lovely ending. That was me short round when I used to watch this film at this bit. Like, oh no. And always adopted children. Yeah. Do, do, do. That's it, that's Temple of Doom. What do you think of it watching it? Um God, when was the last time you would have watched this? I think you watched it on TV, didn't you, on Christmas? Yeah, it was, I, I, I saw it a couple, a few months ago, actually. A few months ago, like, sort of in the summer. Hmm. Did you watch it properly, as in start to finish, or were you just, like, it was just on? I just dipped in and out, yeah. So what do you think, watching it again? Well, um, good cinematography, I guess. Mm. Uh, I, I, I find the religious themes quite interesting, as usual. Um but it's certainly my least favourite of the three. Yeah, I can see what you mean. I liked... Um, yeah. I think the reason why I watched it so much when I was a kid is because once you get past the first hour, it's just non-stop for the next... The last hour, it's just, yeah. it's just non-stop. So when you're a kid, that's, quite, that's good. You're it's quite action-packed, that. isn't it? Hmm. Whereas, it takes a bit of building up. Hmm. Whereas now, I prefer the third one because I think the story is just really good. It's got yeah. a great, just a great story. Great acting, but yeah, I know what you mean. Watching it back again, you can see the issues it has. I still think it's good though. I still like it. Mm, oh yeah, it's still good. It's still mm. a good film, absolutely. Mm. I think it like people say, "What's the, the perfect trilogy?" Because there's always like the like the Star Wars one, Episode Six isn't considered yeah. the best as the others. The Batman trilogy, the Dark Knight Rises, isn't considered the best. But I say with this, yeah, the second one isn't as good as the first and third. But I, I would still think it's. Perfect, yeah. almost. Oh yeah, it's still it's still a really good film. Um, 
I, I, I don't know. It's just, it just seems really out of place compared to the other two. Mm. I guess it's just because there's no Nazis involved. There's no yeah. Christian religion yeah, it's involved. It's, and it's not really a similar scenario. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I still liked it. Yeah, it's good. Bring back short round for the new Indiana Jones film, I say. Is there going to be a new? Um, yeah, I think so. There's a new one coming out, a fifth one coming out. And I hope it's. Goodness. What can they do? I know, because <laughs> Harrison's, what, almost 80, so. You, 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 like, what I would have preferred is if they did, like. Not Shia LaBeouf, but, like, his son. Yeah. Maybe not his son, even, just, like, just sort of someone he's with. Mm. But then it's not Indiana Jones, is it? So it's probably, you know, they probably should have just left it after Last Crusade. Bring back Sulla. Yeah. But, um, what was I say? yeah, but Harrison Ford really likes doing these. Like, when he, yeah. in Star Wars, he didn't really enjoy doing them. Because he always kept saying, Can you kill Han Solo? He wanted him to die in the fifth one, mm. he wanted him to die in the sixth one. He wanted him to, he said, I'll come back to do the seventh one if you kill me. <laughs> and they did. So you can see he's just like, Oh. But with these, like, he wouldn't have done Indiana Jones 4. Or and even a fifth one if he didn't enjoy doing them. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, that's a uh, that's Temple of Doom, the film I watched. The, I would say it's the film is up there as the film I watched the most. Mm. I've probably seen the most in my life. Yeah, that's fair enough. I don't know if it's the one I've seen the most in my life. I say it's up there. It's definitely one of them. Oh yeah, definitely. But yeah, I just find it cool that it was filmed where Bridge of the River over the River Kwai is filmed. Hmm, that's quite good. I don't know who directed little, it. Little tidbit. But... Mm. but Spielberg said, "Oh, when I found that out, I knew I, knew I had to go and film there." Is it, is it Richard Attenborough? No. Just find out for me. Uh, David Lean. David Lean. That's it. D R Nananyakara. Google him quickly. Right. He's um Sh the Shaman. To find out what year he was born. Oh, it was about 1913. 1913. Gosh. Yeah. So he's that's that you're looking at a man who was born before the First World <laughs> 100, War. 107 years ago. Yeah. Crazy. Well, I guess you could say that he is there a timed embodiment of hmm. World War One in the way. Yeah. I don't know if he was like a proper actor. I think he was just like a villager, like a just like a guy. Hmm. As they do a lot of them. Who knows? Maybe yeah. he was. It was filmed in Macau and Sri Lanka, California. And it said physical conditioning for Mr. Ford, so you can show he had a, a <laughs> lot of injuries. I think yeah, he, had, he, got, he got flown to LA and had like some experimental treatment on his back. Back treatment. <laughs> yeah, oh gosh. I, I, I never knew that when I heard that. I was like, what? It's crazy. That must hurt. And it's weird because in I think uh, Return of the Jedi come out at this point, yet Harrison Ford looks so much younger in this than he does in um Return of the Jedi. Star Wars. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's because he just enjoyed doing this one. Although a lot of them said they didn't enjoy making this one. But Spielberg says he's proud of it. That's which good. is more which is more than enough for me. That's good. Well, I, I can't believe people I don't know how people make these movies. It just seems a little bit too that's the wonders of cinema too Sam. confusing for me <laughs> well, like the amount of stuff that must go into it I know and then if you get one one injury to your main man that's it production yeah. shut down that's crazy is there anything else you want to add Sam? not no. that I can think of How would you, what would you rate it out of 10? Temple of Doom 7? 8? Mm, that's quite high rating considering you said you didn't like it <laughs> Oh, I, I, I don't like it compared to the other two, but as a film on its own, with its own merit, it's about seven. How eight. many? How many chilled monkey brains? <laughs> <laughs> Preferably none for me. How many snake surprises? <laughs> Again, none. <laughs> none <laughs> yeah. I want that one. That's probably one thing I would not eat. I might eat the chilled monkey brains if it was like the oh. jelly it looked like, but I don't think I'd be eating snake. Yeah, that was funny. Well. I like it. One of my favourite films as a child, and it'll always have a sentimental value to me. Mm. And on that note, uh, thank you everyone for listening. Me and Sam will be back next week Oof. with the best one of them all. Yeah. The Last Crusade. Last Crusade. Goodbye. See you later.